years ago I was browsing Steam, just casually looking for a free-to-play game and suddenly I saw this new free-to-play game called War Selection. At the time no one knew what it was because it wasn't like a major release so I checked it out, I saw a few seconds of the gameplay and from that moment on I knew that I would love the game, which still holds true even after two years. Obviously at the time the game was so new that there were no videos, no guides, nothing about the game so we didn't exactly know what to do, so we were just playing around with the game, everyone was doing whatever they wanted to. Which wasn't a problem since at the time uh, no one knew what they were doing so we were all equal, you know, we were all as bad as any other player at the time. But that slowly changed with the introduction of new ranked matches everything changed suddenly people had something to fight for and they weren't just playing around for fun and that's not a problem at all even i played ranked during the first season and got to top 40 the problem is that when a new player came into the game he didn't really have a chance to learn things because mostly he played against players that have played for months and they already knew how everything works. I'm talking mostly game mechanics, I'm not even talking about strategy and meta here. Because the problem comes when a new player doesn't even know how to place a wall and he's already getting rushed by the other player. The guy that has played since the release, like myself. I must admit I am one of those people that have killed beginners while I, I, I saw that they didn't know what they were doing and I must admit I thought that the player verse was just going to increase by itself right because I thought like you know game is going to get more popular more players will get into the game and it will just naturally grow and I thought that was really the case but now that I'm looking at the graphs I see that is not the case for a longer period of time I was trying to come up with reasoning behind why war selection isn't growing. Obviously the initial thoughts were like, oh it's an RTS game, those don't really grow, do they? But that wouldn't really stand for me since I'm not an RTS player and yet I can still enjoy war selection because it's such a different genre than most RTS games. Yet still over the time I came up with many explanations for myself why this could be the case and why it makes sense that the game isn't growing. Until one day I tried getting a friend of mine to play War Selection. Well, obviously I sent her some guides, I sent her some tips and tricks how to play the game and I told her to learn first and play second so it's not that hard to start, right? Well. It didn't end well, she gave up, <laughs> so I was like alright whatever, right? A few months later I tried with another friend and the same thing happened, so I was like, hmm, something else must be wrong. Since I was an experienced player all of these guides made sense to me, even to the new players that came they quite understood some of the things, but the problem was that they still couldn't play. The guide, guides usually teach you about what to build first, what, what strategy to use, uh, like how to manage your economy and such things which are really important, but yet when a player can't place a wall it doesn't matter that <laughs> they can't manage the economy yet, like you first gotta learn to walk if you wanna run. And that's the main goal of this series, I want to increase the probability of players not giving up on learning war selection. The main problem why we are so stagnant currently in the growth of the player base is because so many new players just give up right away because the game seems hard and that's exactly what war selection school will be trying to change. So if you are a new player I encourage you to watch all the videos from the series in the correct order and learning war selection should be much easier and if you are a veteran player like myself and you want to get some of your friends to learn war selection then I highly encourage you to send them the series before they play war selection.